The national manhunt for 55-year-old Thomas Probst ended with the discovery of his badly decomposed body and his white truck. Ashabula's coroner Pam Lancaster ruled his death a suicide after officials found a number of empty painkiller bottles in his truck. The condition of Probst's body indicates that he'd been dead for at least three weeks. He was indeed, uh, at my observation that very evening, uh, very decomposed. There were no facial features uh, remaining that could have helped uh, in identification. To help close their investigation and officially ID him, officials called in a dentist. We decided uh, to get a dental evaluation. Uh, Dr. Lawrence uh, from uh, uh, Orwell area was his family dentist and did come to the county morgue yesterday where he uh, positively was able to help us identify him with dental records. Ashabula's sheriff says although a thorough search was done across the area and nationally, the wooded areas where probes hit his car was just too far out of sight. Understand that the camouflage from the growth of the trees, the cornfields, and all the surrounding is very heavy. The sheriff says both Probe's son and daughter are relieved that their father's body was found. For weeks, they too lived in fear, not knowing if he would be after them as well. Reporting in Ashabula, Ohio, Cy Sharp.